Alright this, everyone, this is the opening round of Season 5, Episode 71. If you missed the pre-season episode that explains why I'm in a Williams, then I recommend you go and check that one out. That was loaded last week. Of course, we come into this season then as reigning world champion. Joss Capito thinks we're going to be uh, competing at the front. I'm not entirely sure we will be from the get-go. Alright, welcome to the new season. I think we've done a pretty good job protecting our development gains through the regs change, so the car should be pretty decent. But get out there and let us know how it feels. We pretty much did protected all the upgrades because of course they're still on spec 2 and HQ facilities, so it was only a sashi one. And coming into this opening episode, Alpha Tauri, who just, uh, I think they only had They've, they've done an, an upgrade that they lost between the pre-season uh, episode and the rest. So they've overtaken Alpine coming into this episode. So it's Alpha Tari from Alpine. Interesting. Could those two... You know, we've seen McLaren at the front for many seasons. And now they're looking very much on the back foot. Um, as well, now could we see a new... A new uh, you know, a new chase for the title. Are we going to see Ocon versus Gasly 2.0? I mean, uh, teammates in real life, obviously different teams in this career mode. The same, obviously, with Magnussen and, and Albon. Can they get involved as well? We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, it's a long season, 16 rounds, not as long as real life. But, um, you know, um, anyway, I've talked through the opening corners of Qualifon. My fastest lap, I do apologise. Jed is a good track for me, by the way. And in my opinion, from a racing perspective, it's actually one of the best newer tracks that we've had. That's been on the uh, calendar. That's been added for, to the calendar. From, as I said, from a racing perspective. But anyway, um, the lap we're three tenths up on the previous best time. Now there's a little bit. Why we've lost time? We were three tenths up, and we're now half a tenth up. That was a mistake. Um, as the you know, just the back end just stepped out again. The DRS is still broken in that second DRS zone. For some reason, it wants to close before it's actually get to the end of the zone. I don't know why it does that. To be honest, um, let me know if you've had that as well in your career mode, or is it just me um, on my game just um, messing that up or not? But anyway, um, out of the final corner, we have gained some time back after that mistake. We are almost two tenths up. It's enough P9. So without qualified Piastri, but he has did sit out the, the second half of last season after not racing for the opening three seasons as well. But it's Gasly from Verstappen. It's a checkerboard of Red Bull and Alpha Tauris. Alpine not turning up despite the promise that's shown on their car. Ocon continuing with disappointing form. And McLaren. The Honda curse is back. It because Lando Norris 18th, Sonoda's last. Yeah, it is definitely. It, well, it's not looking great for McLaren in real life, and it's not looking great for McLaren in this season either. So yes, we'll have to wait and see what we can do for ninth on the grid. It's time for the race, the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. <laughs> No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal. And it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. So let's take a look at a topographical map of the Jeddah Street circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. A fantastic effort from Pierre Gasly yesterday puts him on pole position. And Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Magnussen, Leclerc, Alex Albon and Sainz, Russell, Ocon, Phoenix and Lewis Hamilton. Vettel, Joe, Oscar Piastri, and Mick Schumacher. Bottas, Stroll, Nicholas Latifi, and Lando Norris. Schwartzman, and Yuki Tsunoda. 
moment. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. As you've been able to see from the weather, it, it's overcast. I don't think I've ever had an overcast race at Jeddah. It's always been clear, um, because it obviously it's a night a night race. So that's going to be interesting. I don't think there's, fortunately there's no rain on the way. So it is going to be a dry race, but obviously I have to see how the car, the tyres react in these different conditions. There's four foot lights for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix in the opening round of season five is away. And it's a, you, the usual dreadful start. I'm trying to go around the outside though of uh, Hamilton, uh, although we get pinched in by trying to Ocon, try not to lose a front wing at turn one back to P10. Piastri though doesn't look like he's spent half the season on the, on the sidelines because he has made an overtake already on, I think that's Vettel and also the Alfa Romeo of Zhou Guan Yu. So Piastri is up to 11th. We're looking to try and capitalize on this battle ahead between um, Ocon and Russell. So Ocon's having a great start. He's now caught up to his teammates. So the two Mercedes have been on the back foot for a long time. As Gasly's had a poor start as well, he's down to P3 because Max Verstappen is starting to run away a little bit at the front compared to Kevin Magnussen, who's in second place. We have a look around the outside of this uh, sort of swooping left-hander section. We've made the move there we're going to cut across Hamilton's line to ensure that we keep that moving. He doesn't dive us back the next corner. Here's a replay. It's, as I say, I have seen this move. This is a common move here. I don't I haven't seen it yet in real life. I don't think. I think maybe once, but you know, it is a it is a move we can make. Then we're looking to get past Ocon and Russell. Russell's gone wide, trying to stick it up the inside, get the power down. We know we're faster on a straight line than the Mercedes because it's the same port. There's no engine regulation, so it's the same Porsche engine that's given us two World Champ Drivers World Championship. And I think we're going to obliterate Ocon as well. We are, um, you know, and up to P up to P7. Or so it's a it's a it's a great start from uh, ninth on the grid. Up to P7, we've got rid of Ocon, we've got rid of Russell. Now we need to look and try and move further up the grid as our teammate is battling Sir Lewis Hamilton. So Vettel behind there and the Aston Martin, I think that's Bottas. You know, Aston Martin, you know, they haven't really been anywhere near any points consistently at all throughout this scrimmage. They'd be one of the back marker teams as Magnussen has a go at the Stappen for the lead and he's done it. So Magnussen takes the lead away. The Stappen must have an issue because he was streaking away at the front but now he's starting to slow down. But yes, back to this fight, you see Pia Piastri and Hamilton are swapping positions left, right and centre with all the DRS zones. But fair to me to the Bottas for hanging on to this lot. That shows promise for Aston Martin um, in this career mode of ours as now the Gasly's having a go at Verstappen as well but is unable to make the move and it's still that checkerboard then of uh, Alvatar and Red Bulls for the top four all powered by Ford as Botta, excuse me, uh, Russell and Ocon are fighting behind that's going to give us a bit of breathing room and Russell is able to overtake Ocon for now but I'm, sh I'm sure they like Piastri and Hamilton will be swapping places left, right and centre as we come into the pits then the end of lap number six uh, to make our one and only stop onto a set of medium compound tyres uh, 2.4 seconds stop as I say Williams aren't at the end of the pit lane because of course you've got to remember it's the 2021 standings it's a little bit annoying that they don't move based on uh, the previous season standings that would be nice but alas that's there's a lot more than high priority stuff that we want in the games right now. As Ocon and Russell are still battling, uh, Ocon's got back in front of Russell, and Ocon's going to actually try and keep the position. He's got the left hand side, and with the better traction, he's able to keep the position. 
While that was happening, Piastri came out of the pits and Hamilton has undercut Piastri. So that's bad news for Oscar. He's back outside the points again. As Verstappen definitely has an issue now. Gasly has jumped both Verstappen and his teammate in the pit stops. That's fantastic by Gasly and the Alpha Tari. But is that favouritism? Because of course Magnussen won't be particularly happy considering the fact he was leading. As uh, Sites and oh, I think that's Albon going side by side. And Sites all over the back of Albon. We've got the superior speed with the Porsche engine around the outside of uh, Sites. Can we get Albon around the outside, pinch into the apex? Yes, we can open the DR, open the uh, ERS and the DRS, and it's a wonderful double overtake. While those two were squabbling, we take the full advantage right around the outside of both of them to get up into P5. So, not a great day for Ferrari, um, and it's not a great day for Verstappen, who's battling with Magnussen. Magnussen is on the hard tyre. I mean, don't know where they've got that in front that strategy wrong probably from Ferrari knowing them um, but yes we're having a look Verstappen is slow we're having a look around the outside of Charles Leclerc but he doesn't get he doesn't allow us to get past but now the Ford engine this is a test of the Ford engine can it outlift the Porsche engine no it's it's slower um, but I'm sure it's a I'm sure it's at least they're not down they're, they're faster than the Aston Martin engine definitely but um, still lacking a top end speed compared to the Porsche engine fastest on the grid as there is Sebastian Vettel making a double overtake on both Piastri and Hamilton so Piastri down to P12 Vettel is up to P10 um, as well meanwhile our POV we're trying to catch up to Magnussen and Verstappen as well. Uh, we set a fastest final sector. That seems where I'll be the strongest. We're trying to go around the outside. Magnussen parks it in the middle of the road though, and we're unable to make the move. Almost hit him in the back there. Well, I'll get to see a seat off ball, see if we did actually make contact. Magnussen locked up apparently, uh, even though he didn't show on that. Oh, on board with me. But um, anyway, um, no, there was not contact, lucky. As Norris, that is Lando going slowly, and the pain for Lando continues. He should have stayed at Alpine as well, but that's going to un unusually bring out a safety car to clear Norris's little car, um, and we're going to get take full advantage of this. Can we get Magnussen? We know Verstappen's slow. Oh, we've got a DRS failure, and we've had to cut the curb to take avoiding action because of Verstappen but I'm going to let them back through because based off real life remember what happened to was it Leclerc last year I can't remember which one it was somebody did that in real life last year and they had to get the position back but yes here's a replay Verstappen you know Magnussen again locking up and then I just didn't want to avoid and I think Magnussen's actually lost his front wing so went 3 one to turn one so Magnussen is in front of Verstappen as Leclerc did he have a little go at us? We'll get on board with Leclerc. Um, and that bit wide. Um, yes, he did have a go at us. You know, it's not a, that is not an overtaking spot whatsoever. Meanwhile, we're catching up to Verstappen. But Ma Verstappen's also catching up to Magnus. Remember, Magnussen hasn't got half. I've only got half a front wing there. You can see on the right-hand side, Verstappen's done down the inside. A great move from Ma Verstappen. Surely Magnussen will pit in, and we're just gonna no DRS, but we are have got a bit of ERS in use, and we're just gonna blast past Verstappen um, in and move up to P2. So. Although Gasly has been, he, he ran away in the end, but it doesn't matter. For Williams Porsche, it's a podium. And it's the, their first podium since we got the last podium for them at the end of season one. All those, well, I can't remember how long, how long ago that was. But, um, yeah, season, yeah, you know, starting, starting the season off right the right way. Piastri, to be fair, got stuck in traffic. 
didn't help Vettel actually in the end showing Ferrari did have a little bit of pace race pace fast, setting a faster lap time than his teammates so is this Sebastian Vettel rejuvenated for this season we'll have to wait and see about that but he came through to under overtake Russell in the end Piastri unfortunately got stuck um, which is such a shame for him you know a bit more experience a bit more race car for him and I think he would have been able to make a few more positions up the field but he's only his ninth race in Formula 1 um, the previous race in the coming in at Don McLaren so somehow with P2 in the standings I don't expect us to stay there I do expect the likes of Red Bull and Ferrari um, maybe even Alpine it's definitely Alpine to make moves. Alpine had a, a not a really good day there, but Red Bull do lead the constructors from Alpha Tauri. But you know, obviously there will be issues because obviously Alpha Tauri up there, this is potentially not what the Red Bull hierarchy will want, and they might look to sell that team. Rival wise, I think I'm going for George Russell because you know, um, I think the other two will probably lose, definitely lose. So. Yes, and Jostas has um, has has his an epiphany has changed his mind about what our season objective. So, yes, that is the first race done. The second race, as Australia, will be out later in the week, depending on if there's any F123 game news or not. Um, if they reveal the release date, which I don't, there will be there is an episode video coming tomorrow on the stuff they released last week. Um, on that by the way but yes so either way it'll be either thursday or friday the second episode of australia depending on what happens with the f1 game announcement if it gets announced or not later this week so yes that's where i'm going to leave it today's video if you have enjoyed leave a like subscribe to the channel see plenty more f123 sorry f122 driver crew videos as when they come out until the next video then i'll see you next time take care thanks so much for watching enjoy your day and bye